Finally tonight, it's not where you start, it's where you end up. Here's to Marco Morgan. Tuba player Richard White knows just how to make his deep-pitched brass instrument growl. But very few know the story behind how the Baltimore native made it to the big stage. Some nights, unfortunately, I couldn't find my mom. So I would go in abandoned houses or find a piece of cardboard and sleep under trees. At the age of three, White was homeless, living on the streets of inner city Baltimore. His mother, an alcoholic, struggled to keep a roof over their heads. This fountain was a lifeline. And you would get water, you would also bathe. Here, this is where I washed up, man. Yeah. So it's still tough for you. It's... It's very real. I'm sorry. Then, a miracle. And I was found right down here. Found alone in a doorway during a snowstorm. He was later adopted by Vivian and Richard McLean, who gave him more than just a home. They gave him a passion for music. He loved it so much that he applied for the Baltimore School for the Arts, run by Chris Ford. He comes in, he had a broken hip at the time, so he's got crutches, he's got this plastic sousaphone wrapped around him. I said, uh, I'm here to audition. He said, oh, really? Auditions were yesterday. And I said, but I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> Something came through that was really compelling about him that was well worth taking a chance. White, who couldn't even read music at the time, persevered. He became the first African-American to earn a doctorate in music and tuba performance and has performed for audiences all over the world. His life story has now been made into a documentary film called Raw Tuba after his initials, Richard A. White. He continues to perform and teach at the University of New Mexico. What would you say is the moment you said, okay, you know what, I am somebody. The thing I'm most proud about is that every day I get to go to work and give back and make a difference in a kid's life because that's what happened to me. It doesn't get more raw than that. DeMarco Morgan, CBS News, Baltimore.